Hey guys, Cheryl Fuller, Spiritual Wealth, Happy New Year, 2019. Um, I hope everybody had an amazing uh, holiday and amazing new year. Happy New Year and happy holidays um, if you celebrate, if you celebrate them. All right, guys, I just want to say thank you so much for helping me make this amazing year by all of my subscribers and all of my views. And I just want to say a huge huge shout out and a huge thank you to each and every one of you and each and every one of my views and each and every one of my likes and and I just want to say it's um it's a huge honor to me to even be able to do this um and I am just allowing whatever to uh kind of take place this year I didn't do any um uh I didn't do uh any New Year's resolutions, um, except for really only one, um, and mine is just to stay in a, a constant alignment as, um, just in a constant alignment, that is my main goal, um, and to know when, um, you know, a thought is an asset or a liability, and also how to get rid of it, um, a, a, an amazing um, soul blessed friend, uh, one of my best friends, um, taught me this and I actually forgot about it and it just kind of came back around. And so I kind of want to share it with you. I've actually been using it this kind of a little bit here and there, um, recently. So, um, I just felt a calling to kind of share it with you and I'm going to laugh if she like, uh, when we talk about it with her, because she probably forgot about it too. But if we have a negative thought in our mind, are you know like a negative thought which is a liability and not an asset we can do this and it and it'll just kind of get rid of it so you can try that little method there that's just a little a little uh crumble and then also i think i mentioned before if you are uh cutting um uh, wanting to cut a negative energy that you feel from another person or what or not you can do this and it'll actually cut those that little energy field that we cannot see most of us um with that being said i just wanted to share with you hope you guys enjoyed my new year's uh, resolution toast i know i wasn't all dressed up and all elegant and, or anything like that we, i was just chilling and i just uh, felt a calling to share that i felt uh, i feel really amazing that it that it's on there and i have that and and you guys can enjoy that as well and my mom of course hi mom and happy new year um wow thank you so much guys um i just want to say i don't have any plans this year for my youtube channel um i'm basically uh just kind of winging it and whatever i'm called to do or drawn to do i will do um so yeah i don't have any updates on like what i'm exactly gonna be doing uh this this new year I do um, plan on changing whatever like I said I'm called to do um, and also I'd love to hear back uh, hear from you guys if you guys are kind of curious or you would like to know something or you have a question and you're kind of or you just want to kind of open a discussion about something that's awesome as well I'm, I love that I love I love hearing other people's insight or other people's stories or journeys I love that it's amazing um, because we're truly all blessed, even if we're not having maybe the best, um, our, the story, we're not enjoying it as much as we would like to. It's still a blessing because without it, you wouldn't know, you know, the difference. So we got to love those too. But within that being said, I had some contrast through the holidays. I was curious if you guys did as well. Um, I, I made it through, I did some yoga, some deep breaths, and um, lots of calling in on, you know, help, and um, I made it through, and it's just been like, I felt like a huge kind of ending to all of that, and a new beginning to so much more. And the very first day of the year, my son moved back home, and that was um, a huge, a huge manifestation for me and for him, I believe, and for the whole family, for my daughter. So, and for my dog, Avila, which was missing Austin immensely. Anytime Austin leaves the house, she gets a little, ah. 
But um, so we're so um, blessed to have him back home. He's already started working. And so it's just an honor to kind of have him back home. It's my uh, daughter's last year in school. And so we don't know where, they're, where they'll be venturing off to, but I'm so excited and um, just uh, blessed to be a part of their lives and um, just to watch them grow and prosper. And my, uh, my husband uh, is, is doing amazing. I feel like I'm doing amazing. I'm uh, really um, venturing out into um, passive income. And so I know that'll be probably some stories I'll be sharing with you because I know if you're like me, we see other people um, making money differently than um, hourly pay or whatnot. And so um, I'm definitely excited to venture out into those. And I've already been, um, a, a YouTube channel is, is one of those. Um, you know, when you get up, you get up enough, uh, it'll, it'll be a passive income. So with that being said, I know one thing that I'm definitely gonna do because I have friends that are wanting to start their YouTube channel up. So I'm not an expert at it or anything, but I'm going to share my experiences and what I do know on how to start up your YouTube channel. So I'm basically gonna say, if you have had a calling to do a YouTube channel, do it. I had a calling way before I started doing um, my YouTube channel. I had a calling way before. I also had a best friend that was, um, um, doing YouTube channels already and I was kind of um, involved in those at some point um, with her and so the the fact is if you are feeling a calling to do YouTube channels for whatever reason um, for instance if you know how to play the guitar and you enjoy playing the guitar and you kind of want to teach other people you feel like you're a good teacher or you just want to put some songs out there for the fun and for your own your own usage and for for whatever just do it so how I started well first of all if you haven't already got a YouTube channel going um, I suggest not a YouTube channel I meant you know like your YouTube where you can watch other videos and stuff so go ahead and get that it's easier than doing a Facebook a snapchat it's easier than in, than any of that so you don't have to add a visa you don't have to do anything I mean my mom did it okay so my and my mom's um, yeah, so and my mom did it, you can do it too. So that would be the first thing to do. And then also don't think that, oh, people don't want to watch this or people, people want to watch whatever. They want to watch everything. You do, I do, we are all human and we are curious about other humans. It's just, it's just the way it is. So if, if uh, you feel a calling to do it, Start practicing. I would say start practicing videoing yourself, getting comfortable with, with the camera, getting comfortable with if you're Snapchatting and you're doing and you're doing like I have a friend that totally wants a YouTube channel and and she she's perfect. She does the makeup tutorials, which is a really big thing on YouTube, and it's her calling, it's her love. She loves to do it. Along with she does amazing uh what I would say uh, little vlogs of just little things and and it's cute and it's fun and I think people are gonna love to do it or love to do it love to watch it and I and I know she is gonna enjoy doing it so I'm super excited to share that journey with you I'm gonna share with you all the things and the tools that I'm doing and learning to grow my YouTube channel so you can actually we can grow together and we can grow and learn together so the thing is, is you want to kind of have an idea of what you want to talk about when you do uh, your YouTube channel. You want to do something that is, I feel, a passion. So the laws of attraction um, is my uh, passion, is one of my, my passions. Um, and so I really, really had just kind of like dove into that and just kind of like everything. I mean, from, you know, people that are channeling about the laws of attraction to doing my own channeling about certain things, whatever the case may be, I just dove in and I learned and learned and learned everything I can. And then I started experiencing uh, uh, things on my own and sharing them with you, which um, is exciting because then I get to look back on my journey as well. I think if you are just tuning into my channel, I do uh, talk about the laws of attraction, 
taken positive action, and within which ends in set, success and satisfaction. Um, I, I share with you the things that I'm doing and the tools that I'm using and things that do work and things that don't work and how I do instant manifestations, which I feel like we are all in that realm of instant manifestations. I don't know if you've noticed that you've had instant manifestations um, already um, happening within your life. Um, I know that I have. Um, and so I'm super excited to go on this journey and share with you. Um, and if you are, if you have been watching my channel, you know that I've been using the laws of attraction to bring in um, a lottery, a lottery win. And I do realize I did learn along my path, which is amazing because I'm growing and learning on that. I learned that um, just thinking that lottery, like I have to win the lottery, it's the only way for me to bring money into my life is the lottery is kind of um, a poverty uh, mindset. So I am actually totally kind of not, yeah, I'm totally letting go of that. I'm not going to put any more efforts towards that. I literally feel like I blocked myself because I tried so hard. Um, I still feel like it's going to manifest in my life, but I have to look at it differently. So with, um, in that being said, due to the fact that I did um, do a lot of videos about that, I wanted to say that um, I'm kind of changing and shifting that vibration now to, um, sure, I can win the lottery, but I can have so many ways to make money. Lottery is not the only, um, you know, winning money or whatever is not the only way to win money or to have money come into your life or not even money, uh, more abundance. Um, and I was going through, like I said, some contrast during the holidays and I had some huge epiphanies, huge breakthroughs, and that's, that was one of them. Um, and um, it was just an amazing breakthrough for me. I hope, I hope that you kind of, kind of reflect on it and kind of, it took me a few days because you hear that from other people. Um, but I know that's just one alley, that's just one leeway. So sometimes we think it's the only leeway and we block others. So what we wanna do is we wanna open all chambers, all chambers of wealth coming in. Um, even if it's just somebody bringing you some brownies or somebody calling you and letting you know they love them, those are all wealthy lottery wins. And those are the ones that we really cherish and love the most. So one thing, I, I do feel a calling to let everybody know, don't be hard on yourself this year. Don't be hard on yourself. Don't, don't set all these, oh, I'm gonna lose all this, and I'm gonna do all that, and then go through the, the usual roller coaster that we do sometimes, and then we go hard, we, we're hard on ourselves, and then we go back and it's like this vicious circle. Don't do that. Don't do that this year. Don't, don't set all this stuff up. I, I was literally like, yeah, of course I, I, I planned and expected to win the lottery. Like, I mean, I was like, the visuals were so deep at a knowing. I'm still at a knowing, but I'm at a surrendering. Like, it doesn't matter. And that's another, I think that might be the fifth thing. I'm just having like kind of an epiphany right now. <laughs> so, yeah, so the fifth, yes. Yeah, so wow. Okay, so I'm having an epiphany right now. So there was, I went through a process for myself. So I wanted to share this really quick before I forget again. But um, so yeah, of course this year I wanted to have a motor home where, my, where I was going. We literally could have had quads and literally just dropped the, dropped the thing and rode them off, you know, into the sunset and rode all day. And so yeah, I, I really you know, really felt like that was going to really happen and it didn't. So I almost kind of went, you know, kind of through a contrast period. And then something dropped in, which I know we're, we're to move forward. So when you, you move forward, but then something kind of drops in from your past, you reflect on it. It may have dropped in for a reflection for you. And that's kind of what happened to me. Um, it was dropped in where I was last Christmas compared to where I was this Christmas. 
And that was a huge epiphany for me, a huge like, oh my gosh, I have manifested even more abundance. So I, it was amazing how that happened. So yeah, last Christmas, I had Zippo. We went to the dollar store and that was just for my husband, my son, and my daughter. And Avila, we kicked in a dollar. And that was literally all the money we had was like $20. And that was it. And I remember we, we just enjoyed ourselves and we had so much fun. Um, and even though I felt like the next year that I, of course, would have, um, you know, brought in the big, huge millionaire lottery win. Um, I couldn't believe at the amazement at what I had brought into my life and in how much abundance of just everything, like health, wealth, growth with all of my family and me and myself. And so it was amazing because, like I said, last year um, I reflected and I just, I was, I was blown away. And so, yeah, I was blown away. I got a new GMC. My son bought, bought a car. Um, you know, I got a refrigerator. I mean, it was just like so many things. I, I was just blown away. We were actually, I was blown away because last Christmas where I ended up spending the holidays is where I wanted to spend the holidays. And then here I was like enjoying all those events that I wanted to manifest last year and manifesting this year like everything. So it was just a huge epiphany for me. I wanted to share that with you because, um, you know, maybe, uh, that epiphany uh, could happen for you. And so I hope that it does. So I'm super excited, of course, <laughs> super excited and, and pumped for the, for this next year, 2019. Um, it, it's already been an amazing, amazing start. I literally, the first, we drove home. My son drove me home following my, my husband and daughter and my dog, Avila, of course. And amazing drive. So awesome to see how much my son has grown in his driving abilities and just in his, uh, he's grown up so much. Um, and so it's just been amazing. Uh, my daughter's doing amazing. And so uh, my nephew shows up the second and we had an amazing visit with him. Just some really high, high vibrations. Uh, we're, we're just, have just started off my year and I hope they are the same for you guys. All right, well stay tuned for the next year. Of course, uh, we don't know what's in store. It's a big surprise for all of us, but I love to do vlogs and I love to talk about the laws of attraction and taking positive action. I'm going to be um, definitely venturing out into um, passive income um, you can Google it. Um, that's like the way I believe all of us are going to be making money. Um, and so I'm super excited. All right. God bless. Cindy, love and light with delight. All right, guys. Have an awesome night. Peace out. Cheryl Fuller, Spiritual Wealth 2019. Get it?